You can imagine this in the game Dead Space. Pretty scary. We're gonna we're gonna play some guitar. We're actually gonna test some guitar pedals today. I'm trying a new setup here, and we're gonna mess around with some of these pedals we have. I'm asking people to send me stuff now, so we got some pedals here. We're gonna try out. Uh, look, another one here. I even organized myself pretty well. Look, with with different screens. There you go. Don't say I didn't make the effort. But I don't know. We're gonna make some noise. I've never used these pedals. I just received them from our f um, native audio. I was gonna say my friends, but they're not. They're not my friends. I never met them, but they were very kind enough to send me this guitar pedal. So we're gonna try them out. I'm gonna plug the guitar in now, I'm gonna plug the pedals in and we're gonna make something different. Right, we got we got a guitar and we have some pedals. Oh I haven't plugged this in correctly. Alright. I have some I have to tell somebody. I'm gonna tell you man. I'm gonna tell you about No I'm, you're gonna see my video on YouTube about this sect that's trying to convert guitar players into bass players. Now I'm gonna pick a fight with those guys. You know, you just don't go around trying to convert guitar players into bass players. All right, let's look at this pedal here. We've received I, this one is called a wilderness. We like some wilderness. Okay, so native audio. <laughs> well, I'm gonna turn off the delay. I'm gonna look on the website actually because I don't know. The Wilderness is an analog voice delay with up to 1000 milliseconds of delay. Tap modes offer tap tempo functionality with four available subdivisions. I, I'm trying to work it out, honestly. Let's say we turn feedback to this. Put everything in the middle. get a guitar with a sustainer then we then we can do it you see how smart am I unbelievable um, this Joe Satriani guitar it's been one of my dreams when I was a kid to have one of these check this out you can see how many screens I got here look at that oh I also have a Ibanez Steve Vai's gem mirror this is actually the perfect one to put in your bathroom because the front is more flat all right let's try this <laughs> So we're using sustainer. Then we can play with this pedal. We're gonna turn the feedback down a little bit. Let's see what we can get on this. Um, the tap or ramp. Well, ramp looks kind of interesting. Mix in the middle. We like getting weird noises in the guitar. So what what is that? Okay, I'm gonna make this non. Oh, we tap the time here. That's a fast one. No. That's pretty cool. What happens if we play if we play a power chord? I'm gonna turn the gain down. It's like a you can imagine this in the game Dead Space. There we go. We just got the soundtrack for the next Dead Space game, if they're still gonna make any more. Pretty scary. 
Sounds like an alien, doesn't it? There we go. There you go. I look like I'm a freak now. I'm getting off on this. I'm not. You're floating around. You alone. All right. I. You know this. This pedal is pretty sick, right? It's pretty sick. So that's the setting. This is the scary setting. If you want to get scary, you want to make a scary movie soundtrack. This is a good one to do. So depth is the modulation. So if you listen to the note by itself. I turn the depth up. So the depth is pretty cool, it makes kind of nice modulation of the notes. The M rate, what is this? Control the rate of the modulation. Okay, the, so I increase the rate of the modulation. Let's go call crazy, right? Turns the note out of tune. By changing the mix level here into a Mac. If this, that means all you hear is the effects. And then this is like just the guitar. You don't hear anything, right? Here my, here's some Dragon Force song for you. Through the fine flames on acid. What do you think of this pedal so far? I think we've got some cool sounds here. This is cool. It does the ramp. Yeah, I like this pedal. I mean, what do you think of this pedal? You into this pedal? <laughs> it's pretty wacky. I'm sure this pedal can do way more stuff than this. but. That's what we unlock. If we do tap tempo, we turn the feedback to this. Maybe we can just make it like a normal. Let's turn some guitar sound here. That was um, the basics of it. I'll probably get to play around with it for the next album. It looks like a little fun pedal. Um, let's switch to something else. That was, that was pretty wacky. So we turn to another pedal now, and this one is called the Ghost Ridge. Well, this is a reverb, multi-reverb pedal. And these little companies are coming up with some sick little pedals. Let's have a look what it does. Oh, you got different presets. All right, I like it. There you go. Reverb, hall. No, that is a spring, that is a hole. So you can see the, the, the way, let's say if I, if I was gonna play, put this on. We gotta turn this down. Oh, I know why. The loop is in the wrong place. Type. There we go. See, it's very distorted. So what we do, we transfer the loop into the front by switching it off here and turn it on here. So now it should sound more pleasant. Oh, 
Oh, all right. Man, my playing is not too good today. It's kind of missing quite a few notes. It's one of those things. Must be the too much um too much jacko. I I really enjoy this pedal here. So far, this pedal is absolutely awesome. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for coming to hang out. Um, all right, take care, everybody. I'll see you tomorrow. All right, take care, everybody. Stay chill. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.